Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, historians and conspiracy theorists, welcome back to Timeless Sagas. Today, we'll be diving deep into the mysteries of the ocean, as we uncover the truth about an enduring legend that has captivated our imaginations for over two millennia, Atlantis. That's right, folks, buckle up, because it's time to explore the lost city that may or may not have existed. Let's set the stage. Picture this, it's ancient Greece, around 360 BC, and the philosopher Plato is penning some of the most influential works in the history of Western philosophy. But amidst his profound musings on the nature of reality and the ideal society, he drops a tantalizing tidbit that would send future generations on wild goose chases across the globe. In his dialogues, Timaeus and Critias, Plato describes Atlantis, a powerful and advanced civilization that existed some 9,000 years before his time. According to Plato, Atlantis was an island, situated beyond the Pillars of Hercules, what we now know as the Strait of Gibraltar. This magnificent city-state was said to be ruled by ten kings and was the embodiment of a perfect society. But alas, as with all great civilizations, pride and hubris began to take root in the hearts of the Atlanteans. They became corrupt, and their once idyllic utopia crumbled. The gods, angered by their arrogance, decided to punish them. And so, in a single day and night of catastrophic earthquakes and floods, Atlantis was swallowed by the sea, never to be seen again. Quite dramatic, don't you think? Now, of course, this story raises more questions than it answers. Was Atlantis real, or was it just a figment of Plato's philosophical imagination? If it was real, where on earth did it exist? And was the legend of Atlantis simply a cautionary tale about the dangers of hubris, or was it a genuine account of a prehistoric civilization? For centuries, scholars, historians, and adventurers alike have been trying to solve the riddle of Atlantis. Some believe it to be a purely fictional allegory, a metaphor for the inevitable decline of civilizations that turn their backs on virtue. Others are convinced that Atlantis was a real place, and that its ruins lie somewhere beneath the waves, just waiting to be discovered. Over the years, countless theories have been proposed about the location of Atlantis. From the Mediterranean to the Caribbean, from the depths of the Atlantic Ocean to the far reaches of Antarctica, it seems that nearly every corner of the world has been suggested as the possible resting place of this ancient civilization. Some have even suggested that Atlantis was not an earthly city at all, but rather an extraterrestrial one, a far-out idea that's certainly worthy of a sci-fi novel, but perhaps not the most likely explanation. One popular theory posits that Atlantis was actually the ancient Minoan civilization on the island of Crete. The Minoans were a highly advanced society, with impressive architecture, intricate art, and a complex writing system. Their civilization was ultimately destroyed by a series of catastrophic events, including a massive volcanic eruption on the nearby island of Thera, which may have triggered massive tsunamis and widespread destruction. The similarities between the story of Atlantis and the fate of the Minoan civilization are indeed striking, but is it enough to conclude that they are one and the same? Others believe that Atlantis may have been located in the present-day Bahamas, pointing to the enigmatic underwater formations known as the Bimini Road as evidence. This group of submerged stones, which appear to form a straight path, has been claimed by some to be the remnants of an ancient man-made structure, possibly a road or causeway that once led to the lost city. However, geologists have countered this theory, arguing that the Bimini Road is actually a natural formation of limestone. So, where does this leave us? After more than two millennia of speculation and debate, we still don't have a definitive answer to the question of whether Atlantis was real or just a myth. Some scholars argue that the story of Atlantis was entirely fictional, a product of Plato's vivid imagination, while others maintain that it was based on a kernel of historical truth, perhaps inspired by the destruction of the Minoan civilization or another ancient society. In the end, the legend of Atlantis serves as a powerful reminder of the cyclical nature of human history, the rise and fall of civilizations, and the dangers of hubris. Whether it was a real place or just a cautionary tale, Atlantis has captured the hearts and minds of countless generations, inspiring countless works of art, literature, and even the occasional Hollywood blockbuster. And who knows? Perhaps one day, a lucky explorer will stumble upon the ruins of this ancient city, hidden beneath the waves, and finally solve the mystery of Atlantis once and for all. Thank you for joining me on this deep dive into the world of Atlantis. This is Timeless Sagas, your go-to destination for history, anthropology, sociology, and philosophy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating stories from our collective past. Until next time, fellow history buffs.